We're joined now by the man behind the MyDX Analyzer. He's the CEO of MyDX, Daniel Yazbek. He joins us now. Thank Thanks you. very much for coming in. Thank you for having so me. So we're going to do a live demo, so let's get right to it. So you've got this handheld detector here, and uh, just go ahead and do your thing. So this is the MyDX analyzer. Okay. I'm just going to get right into it. We're going to put a sample of cannabis. There's 50 milligram sample here. And you've uh, brought some in, and you're licensed to carry in. this stuff. We're not I, breaking I, I any just, laws. I just got licensed two days ago okay. in Canada uh, by a licensed producer here in Canada, okay. so I'm officially a... Uh, I'm a medical cannabis user in the United States, and I'm actually a medical cannabis user in okay. Canada now as well. Okay. So it's um, I received my cannabis sample, and I want to know how this is going to make me feel. Okay. And how what it's going to help me relieve okay. before I, I put it in my body. So I'll take 50 milligrams of sample, and I'll put it in the sample chamber, and I'll take my smartphone app, and I'll click on Analyze Cannabis Flower. It's going to look for your device. Now he's asleep. We're going to wake him up. It found the device. Okay. We find him here. We're going to wake him up, and we're going to push next, and then push measure. And what's going to happen is uh, we're going to start measuring uh, the, the sample. And in three minutes, we're going to have a result. It'll take a few minutes. It's going to take a few minutes. So we can, we can have a conversation. Sure. We're going to hear a little hissing okay. sound here. But it's running. It's doing its thing. Now, what this is measuring um, is, well, partly it's the components such as THC and CBD so that you'll know the medical qualities of this plant. Yes, yeah, so there's 400 plus different chemicals in cannabis. We have THC, which gets you high, CBD, which is the miracle molecule that all the scientists are after because it works with THC to impact how your mind and body operate. Mm -hmm. It binds to certain receptors in the body, the CB1, CB2, and, and it impacts that so that, but different strains with different chemical profiles impact people in different ways. It's kind of like you might like vodka, I like whiskey or, uh, or tequila. You know, different chemicals affect people in different ways. So cannabis is even very complex. So what we've done is we test the broader chemical profile of cannabis, and we ask the consumer, how did this make you feel? We give you a crowdsource prediction first, but then we tell you, how did this make you feel? So the consumer adjusts how it made them feel and what it helped them relieve, and then we gather all this data in this mm -hmm. ecosystem, you know, this feedback ecosystem, and then we can use this data to formulate product. So now, instead of guessing and wondering what this plant, you know, what, we know what it is and we know we, what's in it, but even if it has this much THC, how does it make me feel? How do I know what dose? I mean, it is subjective. I mean, the doctors don't know how to prescribe a dose right now. It's very difficult. The science hasn't caught up to the legalization of this process. Ironically, legalization is happening faster than the science. You know what I mean? So it's, it's and, and, but we know it's good for you. We've seen things that we know definitely is good for you. So Warren, we just want to help define people exactly how and what chemical profile is going to work for them. You were, you're based in San Diego. Uh, yes. Tell us, what was the regulatory process for the device? Did you have to go through the FDA? We went through FCC, CE, safety requirements. The FDA, right now we're going to go through, actually in Canada, we're going to go through a 510, uh, well, equivalent of 510K, so a medical device designation. We have another product coming out, which is a, 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 a dose-controlled vaporizer pen that has child safety features and locking, and we're going to actually apply for uh, uh, you know, medical device designation in Canada first. We think Canada has been very progressive, and I'm Canadian, and I'm very proud to see Canada be so progressive in its approach to cannabis. When you know, as of the last time, the, as of the last prime minister, we had a completely different viewpoint on how this works. So I'm actually happy to see uh, what's happening on the ground. Now, you tested the machine before it hit the market. What kind of benchmarks did you use? We use uh, we did over 10,000 tests of our device. We basically benchmark against the lab. So the lab tells you, and there's many different labs, mm -hmm. and they tell, use different instruments. So you use gas chromatography, uh, uh, HPLC, which are the gold standard in the industry. I used to work at Pfizer Pharmaceuticals, and we, I had a HPLC on my bench and a GC. And so mm -hmm. we used that as a gold standard. We, we, we looked at the reference database, and then we, we tested it against our device. And we built our device based on what the labs say. Uh, you know, this has the 18% mm -hmm. THC. So the labs give us a reference database that we can use. Yeah. We keep hearing reports of pesticide in cannabis um, uh, in Canada, both the states. Um, does your device, will it help people detect these substances? Uh, with the current sensor, so we're, we're building uh, three different sensors. So Organa, Aqua, Aero, and Canna. This is the Canna sensor, which okay. detects us the chemical profile of cannabis yes. and how does it impact your physiology. Yes. Uh, we have an Organa sensor, which tests for pesticides and food. Uh, aqua sensor will test for chemicals and water. The aero sensor will test for toxins in the air. So everything you eat, drink, and inhale, that's our mission, help people trust and verify what they put into their mind and body.
Now, uh, one thing I wanted to check, and I know this gets technical, but is this actually testing the sample, or is it simply testing it against a profile that you have in your database for it, similar cannabis? Uh, it's testing against the calibration curve that we built, just like anything. If you have an alcohol detector, there's a calibration that has to happen to say this is 0.08% uh, alcohol. It's the same way. We have to calibrate this against a reference database. So we create a reference database with the lab. So we say we, 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 we run it with the lab. We know what the actual accuracy is based on that lab. And then we run it against our sensor, and then we use an algorithm to correlate those two. So we can cross-reference you know, uh, what the interpretation of the sensor response is. Can you that give us sense. An, uh, sorry, can you give us an idea of how many you've sold? Is the thing on the market yet? Of course, no. We've sold over 2,000 devices, getting close to 3,000 devices. We have over 50,000 app users. We have over 50,000 crowdsourced data points of people saying, let's look at the results. Mm -hmm. Right, people saying uh, this is the chemical profile of what I just put into my body. This has this much THC, CBD, and CBN. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if you guys can Maybe see this. Maybe get the camera shot yeah, there yeah, of the there app. So uh, basically, sure the first thing that says that. is yeah. this sample, which is actually called Rex from a, a licensed producer here in Canada, uh, how should help you relieve your anxiety, pain, and stress based on the crowd and what they've said it helps them do. And actually, this uh, ranked very high. Should make you more happy, energetic. But I'm going to say, you know what? When I took this, I made it actually felt more lazy hmm. and a lot less so. So you can start tracking what's working and what's not, and then you can save it into your database and you can print the certificate. And there's a lot of other things you can do in nearest chemical profiles. There's a lot of fun things you can do in this app. Uh, you know, and just so. finally, when would you expect to be profitable on a sustained basis? Well, actually, we were profitable in the last quarter. MyDX okay. was profitable in the last quarter. Now, we're a growing company. We're a startup company, so we're going to continue to invest. And actually, the profit on Q1. Q2, we weren't profitable, but we did have net income. Uh, but uh, we're building. We're a startup. Uh, we believe we're undervalued in the markets, and uh, we, you know, feel free to check us out and, and learn more about MyDX. But you just trade on the bulletin boards right now. OTCQB, so okay. it's a little higher class than the sure. bulletin boards, but it's still a bulletin board. Will you go to the venture exchange or something? Do you think? I mean, we don't trade. Uh, we, we, I'm looking at, at Canada. We looked at the TSX, uh, and we're talking to some folks. We don't know the best avenue yet. I'm still learning about the Canadian uh, uh, stock uh, exchanges mm -hmm. and, and what to do there. But we'd like to cross-list here in Canada, but we're in the OTCQB right now. Thanks a lot, Daniel. Thank you so much. Daniel Yazbek is the CEO of MyDX, and that's part of the theme, of course. We're tracking the infrastructure that surrounds this growing cannabis industry.